typical day, I'll pull up um, it's the report writing system in the in the car. Um, so I'll look over since I only usually work till four. I'll look over and see any reports past four o'clock or up until eight o'clock in the morning when I get here to see if they involve any students or anything like that. See if I missed anything. I'll uh, touch base with like the the shift commander, or the lieutenant, and uh, just ask them. They'll usually call me at home if. Uh, any incidents occur with the students, but just in case I miss anything minor. Um, so yeah, I, I pick up a cruiser uh, and I head out to any school like that I hadn't gotten to in the week. I'll check in with the principal, I'll do a couple laps around the school, poke my head into a couple classrooms, say hi. And then uh, I'll usually pick a spot to go have lunch with students or uh, I'll spend lunch at, in the uh, high school cafeteria. This was my goal from when I first started. Because when I was here, I graduated here in 2004, mm -hmm. and we didn't have a school resource officer until um, now he's a lieutenant, but Brian Gallagher started the school resource officer program here. So I missed that. But like when I first got on, um, I learned about the position, and it was like really interesting to me because throughout my whole life I've worked with kids. That's beautiful. It looks like Elsa's castle. Uh-oh. There's too many. It's going to fall. Wow. Aww. Good work. Like I mentioned in the past that I have kindergarten through um, senior year in high school, so I'm, I'm trying to divide my time as best yeah. I can to spend time. I mean, it's obviously different conversations that I have with elementary students compared to high schoolers, but it's all fun. It's diff there's different ways to connect to each age group. Do you get all your applications out for school? I'm looking at a PG year, so that's not due till January, so I got like some time to do the application. Nice. What, like uh, prep schools? Yeah, for soccer, that's my goal is like to play college and that'll help. So. What schools? Uh, Worcester Academy. Um, Northfield, Mount Hermon. Oh, nice. And then uh, Loomis Chafee, which is in Connecticut. Yeah, my dad went to um, Kimball Union. Oh, yeah. That yeah, it's way up in Vermont. It was good, and he asked me about how soccer was because I was wearing my soccer jersey, and he was, said he tried to, he wanted to come to our game, but he couldn't make it because he had a meeting. But that's just important because he wants to get out in the community and be with the students and be involved in the community as well. Um, one, I think it's important for obviously safety reasons in the school, someone right there for in case anything happens, um, large or small, but also it's important to have a figure there who's with the kids, um, can form good relationships with the kids, and is there for mentoring and educational purposes, um, especially in a hectic environment like a high school, for instance, where I think a school resource officer is most needed um, and has a big impact on the kids there who need help. My goal now is to be available and be visible in all the schools, let people know that I can be there for them when they need me, and, and for, as far as the students go, let them know that, like, make them feel safe and make them uh, feel like that they can talk to police about stuff that doesn't even have, obviously if they have stuff going on at home or they have like legal issues that they want to talk to me about, that's cool. But if they want to talk to me about anything, you know what I mean? Like advice, like be able to feel comfortable to appro approach any police officer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My mom was scared because the door was open when we came home from school and my mom thought there was a bad guy in there. Oh yeah? Yeah, but actually it wasn't so I was... Did, um, did the police come to make sure there was no bad guy? Yeah, and they gave me a police sticker. Oh yeah? So you already have a police sticker? You could probably use another one though, right? And he's also just a good figurehead to go to that is someone else besides a principal or a dean that most kids would just be afraid to talk to and he's just a really nice guy and a good resource to have.